not shocked that Eddie Long died the way that he did. Now, give me a moment, okay? I'm not shocked at the way this whole thing panned out. There are several reasons as to why he and the elite members of the church of New Birth decided to keep his health crisis a, a, a secret. And I want to explain, there's two main reasons here. Now, before I get into this, I want to tell you that I am not taking sides here, okay? I am a victim of sexual abuse. His case, that's a whole nother story. And what he did, that's a whole nother story. I just want to address the reasons as to why he decided to keep his prognosis a secret. And it has a lot to do with, okay? I'm going to start with the first reason. When he was told by the doctors, okay, that he was sick, and then he came out and told new birth and posted pictures and he said that he was fighting a serious health uh illness and that he had taken up a raw vegan diet now for me when i saw how he looked and for me being a on and off vegan for almost 12 years i've seen people transition their bodies from this to that and they don't look like that. They look damn great. Okay. So I knew when he made that statement that, nah, this is probably cancer. Okay. A lot of people are arguing and saying that he had AIDS because of his secret gay lifestyle. I know cancer when I see cancer because I've lost a lot of family members to cancer. And what he had was cancer. People with AIDS nowadays don't look like this, all right? They don't. AIDS is now a chronic illness, all right? People are looking great with AIDS these days, okay? Splendid, sp spectacular. You can't even tell the face of AIDS, and that's because of how medicine has transformed and has evolved. So when I saw that, I knew that he was probably fighting cancer because in most cases, People do often change their diet and their lifestyle and they take whatever treatment the doctor orders them so that they can help fight a cancer. And if his cancer, his cancer was pretty aggressive and that's why he decided to go vegan. Now, I just want to put that out there for the record. And again, I'm not taking sides. I'm just stating facts here. Okay. Like I said, I am a, a sexual, uh, I'm, I am a victim of sexual abuse. So just hear me out. The reason, the first reason he didn't tell us is because if he is given a prognosis from a doctor, a medical doctor, and the doctor says, hey, you have cancer, you're given a year to live. Him claiming to be, and I say claiming because who am I to argue with somebody when they say that there's something, him claiming to be a spiritual leader and a strong believer in God, and he has just believed what this doctor has said, he would not be representing who he is to the fullest, okay? That's just what I'm saying on behalf of him. You can say what you want. You can say, oh, he wasn't a man of God, whatever. I'm just telling you, that's what he was thinking. You, doctor, don't give me a, a date. God gives me a date, okay? So he decided to just let that roll off. And so when he came out and told New Birth that he was fighting a serious health challenge and that he had been delivered, that's what he feels God had told him. Now, that's just only one reason. Now, the second reason is a little deep, and I'm going to explain it to you here, okay? Now, the second reason is it has everything to do. He didn't tell us that he was sick and that he was going to die because of what I'm reading on the internet, okay? All of these tweets that are coming from people from all around the world, given his death, this is the reason he didn't want to say anything because had he would have been given that prognosis and listened to the doctor and believed it, then if he had it came out and told new birth, okay, and the world that, hey, the doctor says that I have a year, and then it gets out to 80% of the population that don't give a damn about him, and then he would have read this shit here, okay? 
some of the tweets, I got to say, y'all, there are some people that are hypocritical, okay? I can't call Tiny ugly. But y'all can say this about a dying man, okay? Let me read some of this, all right? What remains unsettling is the way we rally a predator, is what one person tweeted, okay? It, 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 listen, okay? This has everything to do with why he didn't tell anybody that he was going to die. Okay, Bishop Eddie Long is not the only one who is dead. They are referring to, I guess, the lives that he allegedly affected. Okay, if hell were real, Eddie Long, a bishop, would be down there burning. Damn, is all I can say. And the last one that I read, I only pulled four. I mean, there were, I mean, as I was scrolling on Twitter, I was just like, all you had to do is hashtag Eddie Long and all of this would have came up. The last one is pedophile is a sickness. Karma knew his address. Now, these are some of the things that people were saying after he died. Now, had he would have said that, told us that he was dying, he would have read this. He probably would have listened to the doctors. And then let me explain something spiritually to you, okay? It goes back to what my aunt told me, what my mom told me, what my grandma told them. You don't tell the right hand what the left hand is doing, okay? Because life works in threes. You have people that are loving towards you. You have people that hate you, which is the black and white spectrum, okay? Love, hate. Then you have the gray. You have the uncertainty. People that don't understand what you're going through, okay? And so when he decided to get up there and tell new birth that he had been healed, it's because he chose to keep all of the negativity away. This stuff, these tweets, and focus solely on not allowing this stuff here, okay? If hell were real, Eddie Long, a bishop, would be down there burning. He decided not to allow it to penetrate his subconscious because all it takes, as y'all say in, 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 in the Bible, a mustard seed of faith or belief, okay? Faith and belief, same thing, okay? Whether you believe in good, whether you believe in bad, or whether you're uncertain, okay? All you need is a mustard seed, and if he had a taken what the doctor said and read this, he probably would have transitioned a lot faster, okay? Then his kids would have had to watch the entire world, okay? Condemn this man as he's trying to fight and stay strong, not for himself, but for his children. Now, Taylor Long is his daughter, mm-hmm. She pinned a heartfelt message on Instagram that she since deleted her entire Instagram because when she put it up, there were some people that were loving. There were some people that hated it. And there were some people that just, just didn't understand. I'm taking a neutral stance in this because I understand all three. Like I said, I am a victim of sexual abuse. So am I taking his side? No. But I draw a line when it comes to children because Taylor Long is a child and he has four other kids that have nothing to do with what he did or what he allegedly did, okay? They loved his, their father and they saw their father as perfect as every child does, okay? Your mom as a child could be out there selling her body for crack. She could be out there murdering people. She could be lying. She could be stealing. And that child will love them regardless. And that's why they say that if God were human, it would be in a child, most cases, because a child can see past anything, almost anything. Now, I draw the line there. And that's the reason he decided not to tell anybody that he was probably going to die because he wanted to die and let his children witness his transition in peace. Okay? That's all I wanted to say on this. I'm going to leave it at that. Like I said, I'm not taking sides, but I'm just letting you know why this came as a shock. The same way he dealt with the accusers, the, the boys that accused him of doing what they did, when he came up and he gave this sermon here, listen to this. I've been accused. I'm under attack. 
I want you to know, as I said earlier, I am not a perfect man, but this thing, I'm going to fight. And I want you to know one other thing. I feel like David against Goliath. But I got five rocks and I haven't thrown one yet. That's the same thing he was trying to tell cancer. Now I got to go. Like I said, I'm taking a neutral stance on this because there are some things in that case that I just, it just rubs me the wrong way. And I cannot side with those boys and I cannot side with Eddie. And like I said, you're talking to someone who has been a victim of sexual abuse. And so if I'm telling you that I can't take sides, then there's an issue because I, I do my damn research and I look at people's actions and their character and that's how I determine if that's somebody that I should trust or believe. So I just got to go. I'm going to leave it at that. Feel free to go in all you want. But I'm just saying when it comes to kids like his daughter, Taylor Long, who had nothing to do with this man's trans guest, she didn't hide it. She didn't know if he was doing it. She didn't know. OK, because most most cases, kids are in the room. And they read it on the internet just like we do. So I just think everybody just needs to calm down on the sake of this child. Now I gotta go. For real this time. See y'all later.